Welcome to a brag book tutorial. I'm Shari Filamahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters, and today I'm going to teach you how to make not one, but three Graphic 45 brag books. These mini albums have been created for us by Annette Green. Along with this trio, Annette has also created this fun and whimsical chipboard bookcase and you are gonna love how beautifully these fit inside this bookcase. So you can find the tutorial for this bookcase in the description below. That'll be a separate video from this tutorial, but here in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take some chipboard pieces and turn them into these delightful little mini albums. They've got some great tuck space. They're perfect for your four by six photos here. They're also going to be great for your kids art so you've got to love the idea of that and there's some more fun pockets in the center but these albums are easy to create and great for whipping up and storing your kids photos in or your grandkids of course so these um, are a part of our club g45 volume 7 for 2021 in this kit, you're gonna be getting our Graphic 45 Deluxe Collector's Edition, the Mother Goose. You get 24 double-sided sheets in there. You're also gonna be getting the chipboard embellishments along with two different cardstock sticker sheets. You'll be getting this Graphic 45 uh, Ziploc bag that's perfect for storing all of your goodies in. You'll be getting this Graphic 45 chipboard kit exclusive. It comes with all the pieces you need to create both the bookcase and all three of these albums. You'll get a project sheet with uh, full color, step-by-step -step directions. You'll get eight ornate metal corners that we will teach you how to um, shabby chic by adding some fun paint to those and our artist trading tags, which you get 12 pieces in there. So this is a great kit this month and we are gonna have a lot of fun creating. Of course, if you want to create these mini albums and you don't have the kit, you can always uh, grab some chipboard sheets and some coordinating papers and then join us for this tutorial as well. I will give you the dimensions on the album cover and spine, so um, we're not going to be leaving anybody out and everyone can have fun creating these easy peasy mini albums with us. So uh, go ahead, grab your supplies and let's get started having some fun. So the first thing we want to do in creating these cute little brag books is grab your uh, project sheet. Of course, you can always print these out on our website at g45papers.com. If you just uh, go up to the top uh, right hand corner and scroll down to inspiration, you'll find a project sheet tab where there's over 30 different printable project sheets that'll teach you how to create mini albums and cards and lots of other awesome things. So we're gonna grab that and we are going to start cutting up some papers. So for our step one, we are taking story time spot on and a pocket full of posies. And we've cut all three of these down to 11 and a quarter by seven and a half. Starting with our story time paper, we've got our green face down on the table and we are gonna take uh, two chipboard pieces, our covers that are gonna be four and a half by six and a half, and a spine piece. And we want to center these all on our paper that we have. But we do wanna be sure that we are leaving an eighth of an inch of space between our spine and our cover, so I've just cut this template from another sheet of chipboard to be an eighth of an inch. And then grab uh, some washi tape if you have or something similar in your stash. And I am going to tear this down like so. And then I'll start to adhere my first two pieces down. So you could use um, any kind of adhesive that you'd like for this. I'm using Art Glitter Glue's liquid adhesive, but you can use a dry adhesive or whatever you prefer. You do, um, just with these covers, wanna make sure 
you are getting a, a lot of coverage. So you do just want to make sure that you're putting a lot of adhesive on there so you're getting a really good bond with your paper and your chipboard. And of course, speaking of that, you want to also squeeze out any air bubbles as well. So we have our first piece down. Now we'll move on over to our spine, keeping our 1 8 of an inch scrap piece taped up between. So we know that we are leaving a perfect size channel. So when you're bending your mini albums, opening those up and closing, there's lots of space where it's not going to tear your papers. And it's also going to leave some space where you can add in your embellishments and other things too, just making the perfect little album cover. So now I'll move this piece over to the other side, having it nice and flush with my spine and we'll adhere our last piece. So these came in our chipboard kit that came with our Club G45 volume seven. But of course you can just use some chipboard sheets that you've got in your stash or pick them up on our website at g45papers.com. We do have chipboard sheets in craft and in black. So you gotta love chipboard sheets for your own DIY projects. They're great for home decor and making your own folios and minis. Step two. Just taking a bone folder, we are going to score just the outer edges of our chipboard. This will provide an easier bend when we go to fold this paper over and make sure that it doesn't tear. Now that we've scored all around the edges, we are just going to trim out these corners. So I'm leaving about a 16th or an eighth of an inch of room between my corner and my paper and just trimming these on a diagonal. So now go ahead and fold on all of those score lines. And now once we have folded those, we can take our adhesive and start to adhere our flaps down. So this is just going to give it that perfect little book looking edge on the inside of our album, making everything look polished and neat. And I like to work from the center and then just going out from one side to another. And then do the same on all four sides. Once we have done that, you can just take your bone folder and crease on the spine channels. And there you have it. We've created the cover of one of our albums. And now we'll just repeat the steps for our other two pre-cut papers using the same dimensions for our covers and spine. Now that we've covered all three of our mini albums, we can take our checkers paper and we're going to cut out three of these and they're going to be nine and five eighths by six inches. So you will need to use uh, two sheets of this. So I've added adhesive to the checkered board side and a bit more on the inside of my mini album, especially on that spine. And then I'm just going to center this paper on the inside of our album. And then working from the center, just slowly adhere this down. Once you've worked out all, all those air pockets, now we can go in with the side of our bone folder and just 
go down our spine channel, scoring, making sure we're getting a good connection. And then while you still have that bone folder in hand, we're just gonna slowly start lifting up our front cover and the back. So what we want to make sure is that we don't have any bubbling going on in any of our spine or the covers. So everything looks perfectly adhered, no bubbling. We got all those air pockets out and that's what we want. And then do the same with all three of your mini albums. So then your albums should all look like this. Step five, we have cut Mother Goose, Humpty Dumpty, and Ring Around the Rosies to be nine and a quarter inches by six inches. And then on the nine and a quarter inch side, we're gonna score all three of these pieces at four and a quarter and five inches. And then we're gonna create three separate stacks and set these to the side. Step six, we are gonna cut out two pieces of sunshine stripe to be nine inches by six inches and one piece of a pocket full of posies also to be nine inches by six inches. And then score all three of these at four and a quarter and four and three quarters. And then we're gonna place one stripe on the mother goose stack, one on our ring around the rosies and our pocket full of posies is going to go on the Humpty Dumpty. Step seven, we've cut these three pieces to be eight and three quarters inches by six inches. And we've got our Humpty Dumpty checkers and ring around the rosies. And then score all three of these at four and a quarter and four and a half. So now we're gonna add to our stacks. We are gonna take this ring around the rosies and add it to our mother goose stack. We are going to take this Humpty Dumpty and add it to our Ring Around the Rosie stack. And then with our Humpty Dumpty stack, we'll add the checkers. So now we're gonna take the red cover that we've created and we are going to add our papers on the inside. So I'm taking our Ring Around the Rosie stack that has next the stripe paper and last the Humpty Dumpties and I folded those all on their two score lines. And then I'm gonna start with my biggest paper, which is the Ring Around the Rosies. And I want my floral to be on the outside and my red on the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some adhesive and add it to the spine of my pages. So I wanna do, make sure I am adding a good amount and you can use um, score tape or a liquid adhesive for this step. And then it's just going to adhere right in the center of your album that we have created. So just follow that same steps for the striped paper. This is gonna go right in the center of the spine here, making sure it's even on both sides. So an easy way to do that is to pull it up and look from this angle. And once you have it where you like it, you can go ahead and burnish it down. And then follow suit with the Humpty Dumpties. And I'm gonna use my bone folder to kind of push this into the place that I want it to be. I'm making sure it's the right place on both the top and the bottom that they are nice and even. So after we've finished for our red album, we're gonna go ahead and work on the other ones. So the yellow should look like this. It should be Mother Goose first page, Stripes second page, and Ring Around the Rosies third page, and then center. And the green album should be Humpty Dumpties, Pocket Full of Posies, and Checkers. Step nine, 
We're going to take out two sheets of this playful postage and we are going to cut out a total of six pieces that are going to be three and three quarters by seven and a half inches. Uh, but we do want to be mindful of how we're cutting this. So we want to start from the top of our playful postage when we're cutting and cut that to be three and a quarter and seven and a half inches down. And so you'll get three from each sheet that will look like this. So when you've cut out from both sheets, you'll end up with six pieces like this. And then we're gonna score all six of these. And we're gonna score just uh, below this floral border. So I have my postage stamps that are um, complete at the top. And I'm just gonna score, which is about uh, two and an eighth of an inch. So score all six of those right there. And then take your bone folder and crease on those score marks. And you can see we are starting to create some super cute little pockets. So next, I'm just gonna take some liquid adhesive and put it on the bo both the left and right hand side of all six of those that will create our little pocket. Now that we've got our little pocket, we can adhere it onto the center of our album pages. We're gonna be using some 3D foam adhesive. Uh, you can use chipboard or cardboard or whatever else you want just to give it a little extra pop to your page. Add that nice shadow and dimension. So I'm just gonna put this right in the center of my center pages. And I'll put one on the left and one on the right. Like so. So now you can see we have a nice little dimensional pocket here. Now we can take our artist trading tags and we can stick them in those adorable pockets. Perhaps you want to add a little bit of glitz and glamour to your craft tags. So one way we could do that is by taking a paintbrush or a sponge and some white acrylic paint. This is ivory white and just kind of distress those edges. You can get as messy as you want or keep it nice and tidy to each their own. So it's just a fun little thing you can do to add some extra to those tags, but if you like them as is, go ahead and keep it that way. These tags are gonna be a great addition to your albums to add in extra photos and sentiments. And it would be a great place to use up your scraps as well. So there's always bits and pieces left over when you're creating with our DCEs. So save those and you know, you can fussy cut out a flower here or there and adhere it onto the corner. Do it however you'd like. And then, of course, if you want to add even more charm, you can add some coordinating cord or ribbon. Here is just some ivory wax cord. And I just took about 10 inches of that to create this cute little bow. So, so much charm and so easy to do. So to tie that bow, I just take my 10 inches of cord and fold it in half, and then take my loop and put it through the front of my grommet to the back, and then take those tails and tuck it through your loop. And we're gonna do a bunny ears method. Bunny ears through the loop. And just even out your bow. So there you have it. Two shabby chic tags that will fit nicely in our pocket. However, I'm gonna take that out and let it dry completely before I stuff my pockets. 
from our story time paper, we're gonna cut a total of six of these three by four cut aparts out. So, which is all six of these. So just cut those out on the line. And now we're gonna create some side loading pockets in our front and back covers with these. So I've adhered in a U shape, keeping the, um, the uh, left hand side free of adhesive on the back. And I'm just gonna put this about a quarter of an inch from the black, showing the bl black there. And now I've created another cute little pocket. We'll slide a tag in there after it's dried, but we'll leave it as is now. And then here, I'm gonna do the same thing, creating a side loading pocket. This time I wanna keep the back of my right hand side unadhered. So, if I hold my thumb on where I want the adhesive not to be, or my finger, that way I know that I'm adhering, putting adhesive on the right side, because I do tend to mix it up once I flip that around. So we have now created cute little side loading pockets that are gonna be perfect for our little ACT tags. And the green album is going to get our Humpty Dumpty in the front and this cute little boy in the back. And our yellow album is going to get this mother goose in the front and this cute little boy in the back. Step 13 from Little Boy Blue, we're gonna cut out three of these cute little journaling spots that are three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So we've got the Mary Had a Little Lamb, this Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Little Boy Blue, and you can see the Mary Had a Little Lamb came out from the opposite side. Add some adhesive. And then these are going to adhere onto our front covers, making sure everything's upright before you adhere. And the Mary Had a Little Lamb is going to go on our red album. Twinkle Twinkle will go on the yellow and Little Boy Blue on the green. Before we continue decorating our album covers, let's go ahead and paint up our metal corners. So you can see they do come and a nice antique brass thick finish. And of course you can't always adhere them as is and it'll be beautiful. But with our chipboard bookcase that we create this month as well, we painted that up white. So it's all gonna flow beautifully if we antique these as well with some ivory acrylic paint. So I'm using ivory white. Um, you can use whatever you've got in your stash that coordinates of course. And uh, just taking a paintbrush, a foam brush, or a um, sponge, we can start to paint these corners up. So since I'm doing the dimensional ones, I'm gonna do my sides first, and then I'm gonna start to dab on the paint on the top. So I wanna just do a light cover coverage on the first go round and then we can let that dry and do a second if you want it to be all white. But if you wanted a shabby chic look, we could just do one layer and then you can even take your nail file and do some sanding too. So I can show you both. So I'll let those ones dry and now taking these two, these both just have one layer of paint on them. So I can show you if you want, you can use your nail file and file off that embossed flourish and the corners to give it a nice little shabby chic look. 
or we can take our already painted corner and add a second layer of acrylic paint. Now that we're all done painting these up over here, I'm gonna rinse out my brush and let these dry. So now we're gonna take these following chipboard embellishments and these plaid covered stars. Uh, we did this step in our chipboard bookcase. So if you haven't already done that, you can find your chipboard stars and these side panels in your kit. And you can uh, follow along with those directions where we cover up this panel with the plaid. And then once that's adhered and dried, then we take a craft knife and cut out those stars in one piece so we can adhere them onto our chipboard pieces. Of course, um, if you don't have the kit, you can always just cut out some star shapes or uh, use some of your stickers and other things that you have in the kit, which there's plenty of. So not to worry, but now we're just going to do some adhering on and decorating in a nice, simple way. So taking our chipboard stars, we are going to need to be decorating our red album first. And we do want to make sure you're doing a good amount of your liquid adhesive. So these pieces don't come off once everyone is flipping through your albums and we'll put this little flower over here on the side and these cute little five cent circles and I did already take my nail file to these pieces so and then here they've got the merry little lamb and I'm gonna just leave it as is with no ribbon because I think it looks super cute that way as well and then this is going to go on our side spine so there you have it our Mary had a little lamb album and and I'll get my corners after I've done the rest of them. But if you want to see what it looks like with the added wax cording, it looks super cute both ways. So you can choose your own path. So to show you how we doctored up our yellow one, we have a small star and a large star. These cute little stacked chipboards here, a girl jumping rope and this great little tag plate here and the green one we've got a large star and a medium star our stacked chipboard this cute little striped plaque and the good night tag and now we're going to add our corners so to the green album we're going to take those dimensional corners here and adhere one to the top right hand corner and then just using a nice liquid adhesive a glossy accents or e6000 would work great here as well and we've got those on our green one and then our yellow and red are going to be the same where we'll be doing these more flat corners and these are just going to go about an eighth of an inch from the edge in the top right hand corner and the bottom left. And you can see we've done the same here with this red one. We hope that you had fun creating these Brad books today. They're a cinch and would look great with any paper collection. So go ahead and share your work with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one or this bookcase, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a fun and cute tutorial like these. Of course, we thank you for joining us. And as always, 
happy paper crafting.